Hi. Hello, everybody. It has been four years since I last spoke with you. Not that we were on speaking terms. I was speaking and you were listening and watching. Um, yeah, that weird video when I was wearing my bathing suit top. I have almost taken that down like 20,000 times in the last four years since I put that up. Because, honestly, I got some creepy messages. Like, what do you look like under that bathing suit top? Oh. Really? Blah. Anyways. Um, I decided today that I wanted to talk again into this camera. And maybe post it onto YouTube. That being said, in honor of the Queen's Diamond Jubilee... I have created my own version of a cucumber tea sandwich. Basically, I put mint with cream cheese and butter into a bowl and I mix it around and then I put cucumbers on it. Actually, though, it's quite good. I apologize, you guys, if I'm being too attractive right now. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. And I had extra cucumber, so I put in my water. Also, I just banged my tooth on the edge of that glass. That kind of hurt. Anyways, what I wanted to talk about is um, we just had our election yesterday um, for my city. And... It's very disappointing to open the newspaper the morning after and be, like, slammed in the face by the fact that the people who live in your city don't read the pamphlets before they vote. I mean, these people are literally just sitting down and going, I'm done. Because, oh my god. I mean, sustainability is obviously not a huge deal here because we're a very conservative city. Which, why am I here? Right? I was born into this place, that's why I'm here. Also, I'm unemployed and I need to live with my parents right now. Um, but it was like 60% against creating a job for a person who would make sure that things stay sustainable in our city. I think this is a really important deal, but apparently nobody else thinks that. Job creation, job creation, job creation. So, maybe I am slowly suffocating on the smog that comes out of the LA freeways, and maybe I'll eventually get lung cancer when I'm like 70 years old because I've lived here for so long, knock on wood. But at least I'll have a job. Job creation, job creation, job creation. Arr. Yay. Jobs. Arr. These people are so dumb. They're like, hell no. I'm not going to put my beer can in a recycling receptacle. Why should I do that? I'm going to leave it here in the grass right here next to my feet. And somebody else can maybe put it in a trash can when I leave. Hell no, damn liberals. No. Also, there, there was another measure. Basically, they were like, we are going to change the title of this person who runs the libraries in Riverside. Okay. Sounds good, but they didn't tell you that the reason why they're changing it is so that people who don't even know anything about libraries, librarianism, or anything about the book systems can be hired to run our library. I mean, I realize that they wouldn't hire an illiterate person, per se, to run the libraries, but I wish that they'd hire somebody who actually knew about libraries. 
And the only people who I think are actually qualified to run a library are librarians. Am I right? Maybe I'm biased because I'm an English major and I love books and I love people who love books and I love people who know stuff about books. But I just feel like it's common sense to put an, a librarian in charge of a library. But apparently other people in this city don't think so because they were probably like, Oh, this is just about changing a job title? Okay. <laughs> yes. My god. I mean, it's just stupid. I'm gonna walk into- I already hate going into our libraries because they suck. Our libraries here suck. They suck. But when I walk in, this time I'm gonna go in there and be like, Ooh, do you have the selected works of Robert Louis Stevenson? Robert who? Who? What are you talking about? I don't know, get the hell out of my library. And I realize that whenever I'm talking about unintelligent people, I use that accent. And I apologize to anybody who actually has that accent, who is actually an intelligent person. But the people who have that accent, who live in my town, have that accent. I don't even know where they get it from, because we are in Southern California. We are not in the south where people talk like that because that's how they were raised that's how they talk people here talk like that i don't even know where they come from where are you coming from you go to mead valley and they're all like and they have these little signs with like little like cardboard that says this is bob road because i made my own street sign and i'm bob it's scary it's scary. And then you go like maybe 20 minutes over and there's people who talk like me. And I just don't understand how, how this happens. How, where do they come from? Anyways, I digress. Um, I just want to apologize to anybody who has a southern accent because sometimes I come off as prejudice against people with that accent. I'm not. I'm only prejudiced against people with that accent who are super uneducated and, like, really trashy. Wow. People are gonna hate me for this. If I post it, I'm probably gonna post it because this is the longest that I've talked in the last seven takes. Because I have nothing better to do with my day, you guys. Except this. You don't even want to know. How long it took me to make these sandwiches today. I'm not even going to tell you how long it took. Because you're going to be like, what the hell? Go fill out a job application. I have been. And this is not working out. I'm spilling food on myself. Anyways. That's probably all I have to say. For right now at least. Because I want to finish the rest of my tea sandwiches. I'm actually kind of hungry now. Um, and then I'll probably... Go clean something. 